last hill was an absolute killer. I've been to the coffee wagon. Wagon? When did you become German? Man? very wet, wild and windy Wales. Morvama, if that's even how you pronounce it. I supposed to do this yesterday, um, but such is life, occasionally it throws you a curveball. So I'm here today instead. And I didn't want to be, oh I really didn't want to be. Yeah, but one of those moments when you just sort of wake up, you hear the wind and you're in your quilt and you just go, <laughs> do you really want to? It turns out I do, because I did get myself out of bed when I'm here. Got quite an affiliation to Morvama, family reasons and also the first hill I ever really got into hill walking on as a child. So I'm not doing the normal route. I'll explain the route in a bit. to walk this hill with family walk this hill well walk this hill several times with my wife a member of my family it's quite literally still here on the top so I'll go and say hello to her while I'm here she loved this hill I won't go into the reason why but she loved it. So, normally I'd take the Offers Dyke path up. It's the most direct and it's the shortest. But not today. Today I'm gonna skirt around Malvama for a bit and come up from a different direction. So overall, it's gonna be about a six miler today. Just take me about two and a half, three hours, something like that. So I've got my bananas, got my flask of tea. Let's go. Whispers in my hair, what you gonna do? So take it, kid, away. is quieter than the office dike path. If it was the equivalent of Snowden, the office dike path would probably be called the, the tourist path. And it is short, it's only about a mile and a half up, a mile and a half down. This route, not many people will do it. You'll come across a few people because it is, it is a busy place to visit. Um, and there are some people who want to steer clear of everyone else. Once I get onto the, the top in the Jubilee Tower. Did I mention there was a Jubilee Tower? I'm not sure if I did. Hey everyone, there's a Jubilee Tower on top of the hill. Um, we'll see that. And then I'm actually coming down off this dike path. So you'll probably see how busy it is. But right now, you want to see where I'm going? I'm going over there somewhere. Up into the mist. Oh yeah, so 
car parking. Depending on the route you want, there's a couple of car parks. But as you approach Malvama, you'll come across a couple of laybys, but they're normally gone really quickly. Um, you'll find your first car park on the right that it's got a fair number of places in. Um, but if you're going to do the office dike path, drive past that car park and head up the hill and you'll get to a Brava hill there's a car park on your right there's a car park on your left and if you park there and I've checked this today and it's open there's a little tea wagon so I might reward myself with a piece of cake several moments, sort of two steps forward, one step back. It's nice to be back on the flat. So now, quick zigzag round the next hill, and then I should get a straight run at Morvana and the tower. And then, quite literally from the tower, it's all downhill from there. I can be a fighter, I can be a fighter.
about 35, 40 mile an hour winds on the top. Cold too. But I'm now back in the car. I've been to the coffee wagon. Wagon? When did you become German? I've been to the coffee wagon. I got myself a hot chocolate and a cake. And I'm gonna warm up a bit before I go home. So, car park. Two pound for four hours. I think it's five all day. But that walk, six miles, it's just taken about two hours, 35 minutes, two hours, 45 with a bit of faffing on the top, bit of filming. So about two and a half hours, six miles. Bit more of a challenging route um, with the wind. Trying to walk into 30 mile an hour winds is, <sighs> is what it is. So yeah, walk done. See you later everyone. Oh, new subscribers. Thanks for joining guys, 88. Only the other day I was talking about 60 or something like that, 71, thanks very much.